Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to teach you how we can easily use Push Owl on Shopify. So the first thing what I'm going to do, I'll just easily click here Add Application and I will install it. So let's go Install Application and now let's wait until it's going to load and straight away I'm here. Uh, if you're not going to uh, be straight away in the application, first thing what you're going to see is that you can um, understand how push owl works and how it works is that it's going to help you when someone's going to abandon your well, let's say card they are going to go in their website add a product to a card and then just leave and you can easily target them so when you would come here to the push owl you can click here on campaigns you can create a new campaign then you have like uh, automations here so welcome notification a sequence of notifications sent to a subscriber once they subscribe to your store notifications back in stock a notification is sent to subscribers whenever an out of stock product is made available again price drop a notification is sent to the subscriber whenever the price of the product is dropped then you would have the subscribers here opt-ins browse prompt you can have customer custom prompt or no prompt and show notifications and then you have like integrations here that you can uh, add to your push owl my recommendation definitely ch check out looks there's like top notch notification app that you can have for beautiful photo reviews now when i come here to the campaign let me show you how it works click here new campaign and now sending options you can schedule or send now campaign theme campaign type you can have as a regular campaign then you have segments here so if you have a segment just choose the segment and now you can have a smart delivery personalize the delivery time of your campaign for each subscriber by sending them to notifications when they're more likely to be active this really depends also uh, if they are from different time zone that's really good continue now you see how it looks like android windows 10 mac os or Windows 8 and older. So title, are you here? This is a simple message. And now you just add here the primary link. That's like this. And we can also Windows Hero image. My recommendation is definitely check out the pricing, the plans for Push Owl. You can add a button here. So button title can be, this is a button. You can add also logo here if you want to. And I'm going to desktop and I'm going to upload my logo. And I have a baby Yoda right here. Check out cheaper price this is going to be the title of mine you can also get this notification oh i need to edit the permissions i'm not going to do it because i don't like to have notifications on chrome but if you're gonna enable notifications you'll be able to see it then press continue and now regular campaign sending to all subscribers starts immediately and all subscribers that i have in a push owl will be notified with the new thing and send campaign are you sure you want to hit? yes you can also edit for android etc and then you will have it and as you can see I uh, you get to see the campaign right here impressions click CTR revenue that you're gonna get from the push owl then you would see also what you can do is to create automations here so you can create back in stock and price drop so with the back in stock i can make it active click on it and trigger when the product is added to your inventory they are going to get again you edit the campaign for these automations i i hope you understand this because this is not something difficult to understand so back in stock you click on it and then you see when a product is a add it back to your inventory send immediately notification pretty straightforward pretty easy and you would see the data here 
again price drop too this is literally the same but the thing is that subscribe price and you can have it the same and this is pretty much it this is also the opt-in timings as i mentioned set a timer according to when you want the browser prompt to be shown desktop show prompt after five seconds mobile 10 seconds and then you can have integrations that you can ask like use here so yeah if you can have any questions guys ask down in the comments i'm really happy to help you and yeah have a great day and goodbye see ya